Hi there everybody, my name is Ali and today I will be going to solve the second lab from server side request forgery from Port Swigger Web Security Labs and this one is again a very basic SSRF and this requires some sort of a brute forcing as well and again I will be going to solve this in such a way that I am solving this onto a live bug bounty program so that being said, let's jump in now again coming to the SSRF labs I am having the second one this one is again a basic one and opening this lab it shows me that we need to do basic SSRF against another backend system and again this has a stock check feature and again we need to solve this we need to find out there is an IP address and then it says that interface on port 8080 and then we need to delete the user Carlos so we need to get the admin interface so most probably that will be admin endpoint on port 8080 i believe so let's see what is in the lab so coming to the lab again we i will try all of the things but coming directly over to the check stock feature i am having my burp suite enabled so let me just confirm uh, yes, I do have my burp suit coming on. So if I just click on check stock, come back over here, I do have this stock feature. Send this request to repeater and send. Now, again, there is a stock API parameter. I am having the URL. So if I remove the URL right over here, and again, I do the same thing which I did into my first lab. Let's see what happens. So, localhost is it directly shows me internal server error. So now I can again try to somehow bypass this thing. So local test dot me send doesn't work. Then I can try to do localhost doesn't work. And then I can try to do different sort of things. So 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 send doesn't work. Then I can try either blind injection as well from my bird suite collaborator then i can also try to do zero slash sometimes this work but could not connect to external so so right over here i am unable to do this one so just looking at the lab description i know that now there can be an ip address in the range this one 192.168.0.x now i need to do brute force attack over here so let's try to do that thing so dot zero dot uh, i will try to say let's say one send again could not connect to there but now what i will do is i'll try to do admin and it was i think support 8080 send and missing parameter now i will send this to intruder and i will try to do a brute force attack over here so if i send this to intruder i will place the pointer at this place then i will go to my payloads and in my payloads i will from the payload type i will just click on numbers starting from 1 to let's say 255 step will be 1 and we do have 255 numbers so let's directly start the attack so start the attack and this is quite fast right over here for me so let's try to filter based upon the length and based upon the length i do have at the top payload number 74 it is giving me a different response so just let's send this request to repeater and send and now it says 200 okay if i just render this quickly and there you go we do have the admin panel right over here and again what i can try to do is i can simply see what are the endpoints to delete user carless so it is slash delete so now i will do slash delete question mark username is equal to carless send and now I think so my lab should have been solved uh, doesn't look like if I go to follow redirection uh, if I refresh the page let's see and there you go so the lab has been solved so that was this one again a very basic one we just need to do brute forcing find the IP address go to the admin endpoint and that's all we have deleted the user Carlos so that was all about this video and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.